Buyers that are seeing for sale by owners and that are seeing expires. That's inventory that's there that they don't know about. That's and right. so it sets you apart as a buyer specialist as well. And yeah. let's get to that term too, because I started that a few years ago, you know, like five, six years ago. And I think you heard me talk about it at one of the first events, right? Right, right. You know, I don't want to hire, if, if I'm really sick or whatever, I don't want to go to a general practitioner. I want to go to a specialist, right? Mm -hmm. So we refer to everybody on our team as specialist, buyer specialist, listing specialist. Okay, even until I, you know, all the way through, the last thing I gave up were, was listings. I was a listing specialist. That's right. it. And it's just that if you want to be different than everybody else, then you have to be referred to in a different way as well. So that's just a quick uh, tip on that. So prospect generation is the first step. Okay and dominating listings. The next step is you really got to convert them. Okay, You have to be able to convert them. And the best way to convert people is with services like what you have. Well, plain and simple. You got to get on the phone with them. Okay, Yes, you can send them thank you cards, which helps. Okay, You have to show them things of value, which helps. But you have to convert them. So that's the next step. And most people don't know how to convert. Okay, Then once they are converted, how do you then prepare for the appointment. In other words, you know, I found that most sellers most sellers determine who they're going to hire before you even show up. They already have in their mind who they're going to hire. Well, that means then you better have really good pre-appointment preparation. Okay? So, I give them things of value. And one of the things that we're going to give everybody on the call today is uh, my 75 point checklist. It goes through what you need to do 75 points to get your home ready for photography. Right. It's basic. It's easy. But you should see my sellers go crazy over it. They're like, wow, no one ever gave me anything like that. I mean, this took me, I don't know, years ago I did it, but it took me maybe an hour or two. Right. And it has made me so much money. So that helps you with the pre-appointment preparation because you send that to that appointment that you're going to have tomorrow or tonight. And they're like, wow. And it's theirs no matter what. But it's reciprocity. Are, are the other agents sending them anything like that, by the way, Daniel? No, right? No, because it takes time, energy, and effort. And, you know, the funny thing is that's not expensive. If, if you FedEx them or send it through regular mail, it's cheap. And you can deliver it. And they can have at least, uh, oh, these are the things I need to think about to get my house ready. I, I well, think one, up it, one up it a little bit. Don't even FedEx it and everything else. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. But why not just shoot it to them in an email? They at least have it. And then bring it to them and give it to them as a deliverable when you're there. To reinforce sure. that email. You look more like a professional. Right. Okay? Um, the other one for conversion, people always, or pre-appointment preparation, the, the other thing that um, really wins me my appointments. It's so easy and it is one made me so much money. When I come to a, a listing, you know, I knock on the door three times. I'm very rehearsed. So I say the same thing. When they open the door, I say, are you ready to get your home sold today? Um, it doesn't matter what the response is. What I'm trying to determine is does my, I have a lead sheet. Does my lead sheet where it says D, I, S, or C, is it accurate? In other words, do I know their personality type? Because I'm a high D. If I go and deliver a high D presentation, three out of four times it's not it's not turning out well, right? right. The S's, the C's especially are going to kick me out. Right? right. So when I ask that question, if it's a high D and they say, yep, let's get our home sold, I know. Well, this is perfect, right? An I is going to say, oh, do you know such and such? And everyone, look at my awards, right? An S is going to say, well, you know, it really depends on my family situation and so forth. Right? A C is going to say what? Well, you know, it's going to depend on the numbers. So, but at least it gives me that one question prepares me for the presentation. But the next step is the one I wanted to go over because it's so easy for everybody to do. Well, I, I love. Okay, before you go, but I think I think people on the call need to really understand the power of what you just said. Most people know. Uh, personality profiles from hiring somebody like if I'm hiring a salesperson I want a DI if I'm hiring a support or, or a operations person SC or CS but 
having this concept front and present when you're going to a listing presentation, I think it's a big deal because, you know, if, if, if like you said, they're a numbers person, you've got to focus all of your presentation on the numbers, you know, and, and pound those details in. And I think too many people walk in and just do their can presentation and their particular scripting and their, which everybody else teaches, but catering it to the people on the other side. If they're a high eye, you're like, oh yeah, I know her and I sold their house and I'm going to sell your house just like that. And don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. I'll, by the way, you can have my phone number, like whatever their personality profile is. And like knowing that up front is going to just change your deliverable and it's going to change the way you, you connect with someone. Thank you.